Bieber Nuggets. Bieber. <laughs> oh, Ray. You fool. I heard him say Bieber. <laughs> that was a Bieber Nugget. I don't think I've actually ever had the beaver nuggets. What are they? Neither have I. Uh, I'm going over there. Huh? I just normally buy a lot of random shit, just like, oh. <laughs> jerky, you say? For a very low price. Um, They're really good, dude. Did you try it? You there? Yeah. No, you're not. Kathy, you there? Yes. Ray? No. <laughs> and wrap up. Yes. <clears throat> Give me a second. Hi, everybody. Welcome to a. We're giving you lots 20? of seconds. It's been minutes already. <laughs> part 20. Yes. I'm sleepy, so apologies. Either way, welcome. Okay, because I was just thinking about it. I was just like, God dang it. I like had everything in my head and now it it went to my dreams when I freaking went to sleep. Either way. You guys, well, specifically Raiden and Uro, have been pushing across the land, investigating in a very specific set of circumstances that I cannot reveal to you because you're not thinking about it right now. Because the Emerald Enclave has called you, as they've called you before. Why don't I add some nice music? No, too late. <laughs> You've gathered up a group of people, as you always do, to face the dangers in front of you. And the dangers have been steadily increasing. You've noticed giants. You've noticed cultists. You've noticed several other types of things. But you guys have been dealing more on the side of cultists. And every single time the Emerald Enclave has pushed you guys in that direction, has allowed you to handle it. And some you haven't been able to handle correctly. Others you've saved significant provinces in that case. Currently your group consists of almost the same you had before. Rain and Silver Fang, Deiru Terutaku, and Oril, I have no idea what the last... The Ranger! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never made a last name for him. <laughs> and additions to your group Close include up. Kermit the Frog, which is an elf, which is very <laughs> confusing, and Pilo09, a warforged bard, out of all things. As always, your group is a very strange band of people put together, but you get the job done, and the Emerald Enclave understands that. You guys stand before Baralt right now, as you accept your future mission, I suppose. The cultists have been gathering along the Sword Coast, he says, and, well, somebody has come along asking for help. We honestly didn't really look into it, but it seems they've got an extra information on specific whereabouts, where their hideouts are, and who they're specifically attacking right now, and what they're trying to do. He gives you the objective to help this lady, and try to eliminate the cultist threat in the area. We're going to be moving in a lot of people from the Emerald Enclave in order to assist you because we've gotten word that they've almost got the size of armies out there when it comes to cultists. They've somehow kept them under wraps, away from the Emerald Enclave's eyes and away from anybody's eyes who might be interested. In addition, Yurdu from the Crimson Bear has provided a contingent of warriors as well to help out, so it's going to make the threat a lot more doable. He asks you guys to take this lady named Athet and scout the initial area and then contact the Emerald Enclave and then they'll move in to strike as best they can. From there they need to take out the cultist leader in this specific area and from there they'll see what they can do. Is there any questions you ask? Uh, the floor is open. <laughs> the floor, the mic is open. Open mic, please. <laughs> hmm. 
Not all at once, uh, guys. <laughs> not, not, guys, calm down. He's just a, he's just the leader of the. Well, yeah, don't, don't 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 bombard Veralt with your questions, <laughs> but our inevitable doom. Uh. I can't think of anything. <laughs> like a professor in a classroom, he looks around <laughs> and he's just like, "Any questions?" These guys are gonna need the questions, but moving on. I'm kidding. Anyone? Uh, anyone? There... <laughs> <Is> there... Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. I ask him how how many how like how big the forces the Emerald Enclave can uh, I guess is uh, mobilizing to deal with this cultist threat. Somewhere around the hundreds, maybe even thousands. Jeez, that's a lot. Begins Good to push thing forward. I have 60 arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I have 40. He says if there's anything you guys need, he would gladly provide it. Arrows? <laughs> um, uh, uh, and how, uh, he asks real quick, how many? A lot. Give him 60 more. Yeah, and he'd ask somebody to bring him 60 arrows real quick. And you gain an extra 60. Wonderful. Remember that you don't have any other extra storage, so if your character can't hold on to it, I will penalize it. Because I okay. think it should already penalize it, though. It should tell you if you're encumbered or not. Um, I asked him if he may have something to, uh, for my sight. You know, dark vision. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he asked, okay. is there anybody else who has this problem? Oh. I mean, I've got. I've got. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket of bowls. Shame, shamefully. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I kind of look back Useless and I'm like, always. I thought you could see in the dark. It just stares at you, judging you, <laughs> with its head still up. <laughs> it's trying to swindle us. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> Sir, I got all these things here if you want to trade. Would you like to trade? No. I'm not gonna not trade you. with you, Kermit. Stop it! Not you. Kermit no one wants to trade with you. Why do you have to say things like that? People of course want to trade uh. with me. As you guys uh. are pushing through the Emerald Dawn <laughs> Cave, he's going answers. around a corner because you guys are moving as talking. And he heads to an acquisition office. Maybe you can finish up real quick. Yeah, That's look it. at a room like, man, we're traveling with some freaks. <laughs> Alright, Dayru? Room? <laughs> what what <laughs> race is Dayru? Uh, were we talking? <laughs> huh? what, Who called this? Spot on. Is he a lizard he's, guy? He's a yeah, lizard he's guy. Oh. I don't even know if something, if like I'm getting penalized or not. I don't even know how much weight I can carry. Gotta like look that shit up. It should tell you, no? Right? I thought it did. How much weight you can carry? Yeah. But I mean, like. But arrows aren't that how, heavy. I mean, how much how much weight you can carry versus how feasible it is are two very different things. Like, I could carry 100 pounds of arrows. Where the fuck am I carrying 100 pounds of arrows? Like, <laughs> it, like. It, I don't yeah, yeah. I don't have a hundred pounds of arrows, don't worry about that. What I'm saying is that arrows take up space, so feasibly yeah, like how, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like how many arrows can you actually hold, but like weight wise the weight's never gonna be an issue. Unless oh, you get to like hundreds. Maybe I should get some extra arrows too. But I'm um, good. I can't wait to go Teach those cultists a lesson. Yeah, I'd ask you him for an extra, for for an extra 40 arrows, George. Sure. And in the Acquisitions, acquisitions no Office, yeah, he gives Rappa, he gives you your extra 60. He gives Ray his extra 40. And then he pulls out a set of Goggles of Night for all of you, if you need it. Oh, I, I take it just so I can have it. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I put him on. He looks at you awkwardly, goggles. he's just like... Looking at your eyes real quick, making sure you're not blind. But he's like, whatever. I think, I think JJ's goggles are night too. <laughs> hey, those are mine. I, I have them if you want them. Pilo takes it. Um, 
I'll ask, I'll ask Brawl for an extra 40 euros as well. No, he provides you an extra 40. Okay. Thank you. You got any, uh... Nah, I won't be greedy. I got my arrows. <laughs> it's like, do you have a sword of... <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's just weird. It's like, you have a plus three sword? Like, oh yes, you could borrow mine. <laughs> Uh, ask him if there's uh, any other uh, kind of enchantments he can, uh, you know, give us, you know, to make it easier to travel in stealth, if it's possible. Hmm. <clears throat> the person you're traveling with will help with that. I can't right. wait to meet her. I hear she's a nice lady. I heard she fought a Medusa all by herself. Oh. I heard those were just rumors. Yeah, isn't that though? Isn't that just the way though? <laughs> rumor this, rumor that. Pila, what do you think? It's Don't now staring Pila. at you instead of uh, instead of uh, Raiden, Raiden, whatever his name is. Yeah. Right. Whatever your name is, huh? <laughs> Hill <laughs> box think? over there. Hey, what do you think? What do you think, huh? I what think, you think not. You think not? I go up to uh, Baralt, I'm like, and I start talking with him. Beep, 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 beep. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and then beep, he sees, boop, boop, he sees boop, boop, a rapper come up, <laughs> or Kermit. Kermit McConaughey. And he just stops, the wah, wah stop. Don't stop on my account. <laughs> okay, and then they just like move off to the side. Okay. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and then they stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello. A V conversation. <laughs> do you, do you need something? A drink? When do you think uh, that woman's coming here? Soon? Yeah, you'll be meeting her. Okay. Just keep staring at him. Is there anything else you guys need? Huh? Mm, no, I just suggest if he if he knows of anything that or if he thinks of anything that we may need, if he'd be gracious enough to give it to us. Information it is. Um he tells you guys in general they seem to have a extra fey contingent on their end. They're somehow turning, well, these are the reports they're getting, that they've been turning people into types of fey. Not exactly sure how, but these people are wielding some strange type of magics, magics that aren't normally seen around the land. You're going to be running into a lot of type of hags, but as well as general cultists, but don't take these cultists by... I suppose with less salt than you normally do. They're not normal. Be very careful when fighting these people. What do you know about hags? I've they're, got that covered. They're, they're pretty damn ugly. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Baral would probably Anything? know that too. He's like a head ranger. Anything <laughs> I need to know when, you know, when I fight them and have to deal with them? Uh, There's a ranger in your party, especially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, why didn't you just tell me? Don't look at them. How about that? <laughs> Don't look at them. What's gonna happen if I look at them? Anyway, anything else we need to know, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm risking my life here. Tell me. I'll tell you on the way. We've got a way to go. Oh. It said that some of these things, the majority of them actually, are very bloodthirsty type fey. Even if you guys are in the middle of stealth, they will sense your presence when you're close by. So be very careful when approaching. So am I equipped for hags and fey? I hope so. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna get informed as I'm leaving. <laughs> so, it'd be very unfortunate if I find out I needed something. <laughs> I just, like, smirk. <laughs> Alright.
Hey. That's why um, I'm informing you now. That's part yeah, of the it? job. Yeah, so uh, inform me now. Uh, any uh, particular weapon I should have to deal with them? Not that I know of. Okay, then. that sounds good. And I should be all set and ready. Yep. Tapping the situation, part of the job. Let's go, Baralt. Uh, how much information... Uh, we'll, we'll try to gather as much information as we can, but... Uh, I'm not going to risk the, the entire party. Uh, if we feel it's too dangerous, we're going to pull out and give you the information we have. That's completely fine. And he includes in the fact that there's probably going to be a lot of innocent civilians, but if it can't be helped, it can't be helped. But try to save as many as you can. Collateral damage. That, that's what we do. The saving, not the collateral damage. <laughs> the, li the lives of uh, the few here can save many more. So, uh, Raiden's thinking to himself that uh, maybe we could save ourselves to, s to fight another day. But, uh, yeah, we're waiting now. Are you ready? I I I I'm, I'm waiting. I, I call our committees to me. He's already with you. Yay! Yeah, he's, he's double with them now. Yes, yeah. another, another, another one comes. Yeah. Another one. 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 Oh, he's literally doing it. Oh um, my god. Oh my god. Come out oh, of no. pillows. Yeah. Yeah. My armies. <laughs> You just throw tons of birds. Instead of throwing wolves, you throw birds now. <laughs> <laughs> Philo uh, comes up to the group. Stop, stop, stop. And it says, Philo is configured. Okay. What does that mean? Thanks for letting us know, Philo. <laughs> it's gonna kill Always us. Always so hey, considerate. Hey, hey Brault, where'd you find this thing? Don't be rude. I... You all found it. Uh, yeah. Oh, we found it. Okay. Pilo's my long friend. Found him in a swamp. Good that, for you, Kermit. That's not, it's not where you <laughs> found it, but he said it. That is false. <laughs> Does Pilo say that? Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> this is false. <laughs> <laughs> lies, lies, lies. Lies detected. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> um, what's Where did I find is, Pilo then? Lying is disobedience. It's our fault. I'm not trying to lie. Trying to disobedience <laughs> results in corporal punishment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh. Yeah. Can't wait for that woman to show up. I mean, when they, they, he tells you guys he wishes you the best of luck. He tells you exactly where to find her. You push out towards the Emerald Enclave outside the Grand Tree of their headquarters. You find a Thed in the front. She it's greets each of you individually. And she uh, asks all of you if you're ready. Is she human? Yes. I take out a pair of goggles of the night. I say, would, would you like to use these? Sure. Oh, here you go. And I hand her goggles of the night. I am ready. Is there anything you need to ask of us or tell us before we set out? No, I just wish you the best of luck. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Uh, and I shake your hand and I'm just like, well, I'm glad to have you. I just remembered something they have. <laughs> you look like you remember something. Real well. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was looking through my old notes, George. I have the Alchemist Flame Necklace, remember? Yeah. I forgot uh, about that. Hilo steps up to Brawl. I, I looked through my notes. I found out I have a portable bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Hilo, Hilo asks... What is the rate of mortality? The... 0.10%. Unless we're smart about it. Kill nuts. 
Hey Ray, I wonder what happened to Zaya. Point ten percent. That's horrible. Ten percent. Mother of God. Point ten percent. Is literally setting up for failure. Hey, it's a suicide run, boys. Okay. Suicide squad. You beat me to it. I guess that's what we're named. <clears throat> we are known as the Afeds. Freedom Fighter Suicide no. Squad. That's not what we're known as. Ethed, what are we known as? Uh, uh, a good set of people. Ethed. Finally, we'll get some good characterization set. for Ethed, because I don't even know her. Great. <laughs> We've traveled with her so much, but all I know is what she looks like. What are you talking about? She's our bro. She's drank with us. We saved her village and her people. She's a healer. In the coastal town. And Aokai completely forgot to save his people from petrification. Because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> no, no, not denying anything. Because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the main quest. Like, yeah, you get rumors that uh, your people are being petrified. Mm, yes, I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly rumors. Cause Adventure I waits! <laughs> uh, Fed, I'm glad you're here with us. Let's go. I'm glad you're here too as she keeps going. <laughs> I have to follow. Yeah, I follow along with the Fed. She, she taps fine. her staff along a tree and a portal opens and then she walks through it. And then leaves us there. I walk through. There's no portal there for you. Jeez. Don't you listen? Not to you. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I walked through the portal. As far as I'm concerned, I have two com three comrades here. The other two are negligible. <laughs> oh, damn, we gotta do this again? No matter, no matter what the character is, I gotta mm -hmm. get bullied. I gotta get bullied. I go through the portal. And I poke my head back out. I say, it's safe, Pilo. You can come in, too. Ka-chunk! Ka-chunk! <laughs> I missed the day of quiet. <laughs> she immediately says at this point, we are pretty close. So Jesus, she does cast at this point, pass without a trace. Oh, being sneaky. I mean, we're being snaky. Pilo goes into low chunk mode. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth mode activated. <laughs> Pilo's got organs on it. <laughs> like the, the, the lights in the back start Our flashing. chainsaw starts going on. <laughs> Silent chainsaw mode activated. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we roll stealth, right? Oh, okay. Yes. Calm down. Oh. Yes. Hey. Beautiful. As always. Hell yeah. What is a rogue without his stealth? It's like, is this guy still walking in front of us? Like, yes. Y'all some dexy babies, look at that. You look like a leaf in the wind, Ray. Just like, swoosh. <laughs> swoosh. Swoosh. <laughs> Somebody... And that's when Radiant teleports behind someone and it's like, Sorry, kid. And he pulls out his katana. Nothing personal. Nani? <laughs> Nani? Oh <my laughs> <goodness in> the <room. clears throat> see what Dale would have gone. <clears throat> Excellent. God damn it. He's fucking us over to even when he's not expected. here. Expected. <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> As you guys push forward, I suppose you're go working in tandem, JJ, as a ranger normally does. Mm -hmm. 
Is there any benefits that y your group gains from stealth? Uh, in addition, you, let's see. I ignore a difficult terrain. You have advantage on initiative rolls. And on your first turn during combat, you have advantage on attack rolls. And then you gain the following benefits when traveling for an hour or more. Difficult terrain doesn't slow your group's travel. Your group can't become lost except by magical means. Even when you are engaged in another activity while traveling, such as foraging, navigating, tracking, you remain alert to danger. You're traveling alone, you can move stealthily at a normal pace. Okay. Yeah. Twice as much food and tracking, blah, 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 whatever. Oh, actually, that, one's, that last one is actually really cool. While tracking other creatures, you also learn their exact numbers, their sizes, and how long ago they passed through the area. But that's after traveling for an hour. After traveling for an hour. Hell yeah. <laughs> you get a lot of signals from Archimedes that there's stuff in the general area. A lot of Do you have to roll any checks? Uh, actually, no. Because since I have primeval awareness, you have an innate ability to communicate with beasts and they recognize you as a kindred spirit. So yeah, through sounds and gestures, you can communicate. Uh, no, 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 no. I need checks to track. I'm sorry. Oh, probably survival. Uh, it's because of based off of your abilities. I was just wondering. I forgot to look up mm -hmm. on it. I don't think you do. I think you just get the information after traveling for an hour. It just says while tracking other creatures, you learn their exact number, their size, and how long ago they passed through here. Uh -huh. The so, kicker. yeah. So, yeah. I have like check. Ooh, 12. It's a little difficult to see right now with all the automatic rain being poured on upon you. Either mm. way, you're able to see that there's a lot of footsteps. It's footsteps going through the mud. You can only assume that these footsteps were made beforehand in the mushy, foresty floor. Do I see what direction they head in? They seem to be heading towards the mountainous areas of the Sword Coast. Right now, mm -hmm. you're clear, you're near the forest along the ocean's edge, but it seems they push more towards inland, more towards civilization and mountains. And can I tell how long ago we passed through the area? Yes, it was somewhere around three hours ago. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tracks guys heading this way. They were around here maybe two, three hours ago. It's kind of hard to keep track because it's raining right now, right? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of hard to track. We might need to move the pace up a little bit so I don't lose them. Okay. Well, that shakes her head for a second. She's like, "Yeah, sorry." kind of forgot to mention, I've been keeping a lot of this stuff to myself. The cultists have been setting up their headquarters inside a majority of the mountainous areas to keep away from people, but also have a good general view of the area so that they don't get pushed upon very easily. Hmm. Since a lot of people don't mess around in the mountains for fear of dragons, trolls, gnolls, they've gone particularly undisturbed. But they'll probably still be on their guard. She nods to that. Mm. Do we see the mountain area around us? You see the mountains ahead of you. Okay. Every time the forest brush kind of separates for a second, you can see the mountains ahead. Okay. Would that be in range of my primeval awareness? What is that? Uh, for, let's see, I can attune senses for a minute, uh, and then I can sense whether any of my favorite enemies are present within five miles of me. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. Alright. They're near uh, you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, this feature reveals which of your favorite enemies are present, their numbers, and the creature's general direction and distance in miles from you. What are your favorite enemies? Uh, fiends and fae. 
you sense fiends and fey five miles to the assume okay assume you're facing east so mm -hmm. north east south east and east which is the general direction of the mountains though okay. it feels a little separated Separate. so they must be spread out oh okay yeah, yeah. and like big groups or small groups huge huge okay oh boy yeah they're definitely in there You already got the damn information, TJ. God damn it! No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> do you guys push on? Of course. Not much of a choice. I am. Pushing forward stealthily for somewhere around five hours, but with the help of your ranger, I believe that doesn't slow you down too much. You push it on and on into the night. And then you get... Little fidgets from Archimedes, JJ. Mm -hmm. You said you could understand him? It says, Through sounds and gestures, you can communicate simple ideas to a beast as an action and can read its basic mood and intent. You learn its emotional state, whether it is affected by magic of any sort, in its short-term needs, such as food and safety, and actions you can take to persuade it not to attack. You get the idea that he's alert right now, as if he's getting ready for a fight. He's trying to warn you of things near you, and they seem to be approaching, uh, according to his hastiness. Guys, stay alert. Something's coming. Okay. How do you stay alert? Do you guys hide, or do you just stick in the middle of the forest? Oh, let's go hide. Uh... I, I want to do a perception check. See if I can, like, get a feel from, like, which direction. We should hide and then do a perception check. You're what? hidden. I'll say that you're hidden, but throw me a perception check. I got an 18. 15. You find enemies coming from the east, the north, and the south. Damn. There's enemies coming from the east, the north, and the south. And the south. <laughs> as you guys hide for moments, and as you're looking around at the forest, you begin to hear rustling as people are moving closer and closer. Torches begin to light up or rather come around the forest shadows. They seem to be getting closer and closer. Like stars in the night, they just flicker constantly. There are so many out there. And you begin to notice cultists walking through your general area. And then you hear a womanly voice, a very raspy womanly voice come out. <laughs> come out. I feel you. Here, you. Where are you? What do you guys do? <laughs> uh, I'm just sitting there watching. <laughs> Smile on my face. Do we hear them getting closer? They are close. Oh, shit. They're just okay. standing there. You've hidden... Different around the trees some of you above some of you below and they're just passing through right now this womanly figure or lady is looking around constantly she seems very fixed generally with your perception on the areas that you're hiding she can't she's not very much concentrating on specific points it's as if she senses your general direction Um, uh, I look to a fad and I point to the woman and then I make a, a throat cut sort of hand gesture and then uh, I, I shrug my shoulders like, eh, <laughs> Like, yes, no? <laughs> the 
yeah, she just, at this point, she just kind of, like, shrugs and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, I, I get everyone else's attention, and then I point to the woman, I put her the thumbs down, and, uh, I, uh, start shooting the shit out of her. Everybody, roll initiative. Uh... Oh my god, I don't have to track her there. I got a nice 24. Hey, Check me too. Power. Who left? Oh, the freight boat. boat. Get to go sail away. I wonder what Kathy does when she mutes herself. She dies. Yeah, that's what I figured. She's, she's just doing that the whole time. <clears throat> oh no. So Pilo acts as uh, oh. an exoskeleton for me. I just reminded me. Pilo is just like one with the brush because he's because it's made out of like um, rock and wood and stuff. So it's like this is this is I I am one. Pilo's made out of rock and wood. And and other sinewy uh, organic materials. In a weird brackish fluid. Nasty. So if you act in the surprise round, do you have advantage over those you attack? Mm, no. Only if you're okay. hidden. But you are. So do you do I get mine? <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Moving you guys to this map. How would you know we're here? Unless Pilo's a traitor. Hint, hint. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Archimedes program. How dare you? Uh, that's a fucked on a cultist, dude. Why are oh, from your general shit. understanding, these guys are definitely fodder. No doubt. Uh, oh, see a main one. Uh, I'd like to strike her with my arrow. <laughs> Poor favor. Poor favor. Por favor, my friend. Look, for favor, all right. Oh, uh, for favor, resident one. Mexican. Quesadilla. From, from my teacher, Peggy Hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I think I gave. Nice, nice, what? Nice. How the hell did I get? <clears throat> I accidentally gave you X-rays. Yo, you was your original my, my initiative <clears throat> is twenty-four. Don't mess with me. Wood, mine just deleted. Good. That was at Pilo the bottom, right? Care of it. I can see the ones at the top. I am 24. It's, I think it's having that problem again where you guys just can't see the... Uh... I just realized, what if this, <clears throat> this map that's good? And, uh, just a question, are you guys using your macro new characters or your old ones? Wait, what? Are you using the character sheet or using macros? Uh, I mean, mine, mine was up, has 8, and then it just disappeared. But you have 20, right? Yeah, mine's supposed to be 20. Yeah, I see 20. Mine's 24. I'm telling you, I think it, I think like, it registers the turn order. On probably the other on the other uh, page. The lobby. 
Yeah, on the lobby. And yeah, so there it is. is. <laughs> yeah, so it keeps it over there. I see. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You're right. So it's like whatever page you roll initiative on, it keeps the initiative over there. Yeah, so I'm going to change that real quick. You right, Ray. You right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. You oh, right, right, Ray. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. Holy butt talks. Butt detox. Why did it roll all these people? Or if they could just sit there. <laughs> Yo, there's two ladies here? Yep. Oh. Dang. Dang, I thought this would be easy. <laughs> so take it. Okay, what'd you get, Kermit? Did you get... Kermit got 24. I'm actually gonna erase your previous ones. Oh, uh, yeah. So I don't get confused. Twenty-four. Ray was twenty, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, real? Twenty-four. And Pilo. Fifteen. Up. There you go. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the dubstep that I know Rappa loves. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. Exactly. <laughs> you yeah, forget the music. Record, record a song for us for a battle. Uh, it's a surprise round. You start off, Kermit. Going for this woman. She's all like, Where are you? And I go, I'm right here. And, uh, I'm on the other page, George. Yeah, good. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, how's that possible? Oh, oh. shoot. Oh, I'm just gonna do that. I, I, I reloaded. So, using my cheapest fuck, uh, reroll one of the things when you have advantage, uh, elf feats, I get a critical hit on my first attack. And oh, you got Elven Accuracy? Yes. And let's see, uh, Piercing. Torn Shoulder Incapacitated is this woman. So does that mean, like, everything is a critical that's in five feet of her? Wait, what? Alright, I just... It, this is, uh, Torn Shoulder Incapacitated for my critical success. Mm-hmm. So d does that mean she's incapacitated? Yes. And what does that mean? Like, uh, you can crit the person if you're five feet next to him? What does that do with that condition? No, the crits work at distance. <clears throat> no, I'm, t I'm Okay, whatever. Um, so, uh... So she's taken... What the fuck is that? Seriously? Okay, she's taken 19 points of damage. Uh... Let me just continue the train here. Um... Alright. And she's taking 16 points of damage with that second attack. And... Does it turn into a critical because she's incapacitated? No. Oh, okay. I gotta look up what that condition does. Um... And then my third attack. And... 17 hit? Uh... Yes. 23 damage. Alright. I figured that blows my cover. Oh, and completely. I go... I go, TEAR IT ALOW! Um... Thirty-five feet up there, and end my turn. Your turn over. Okay, okay. Uh, I am going to. How far am I from here? What's your 
your AC? Uh, 16? Oh. Me? Um, I think it's 17. You got hit for two. Why did I get hit? You passed him. The, the cultist? Mm-hmm. Oh. Wait, what did you do? <laughs> the, the cultist went for opportunity. I didn't know they could act on surprise round. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Move up. Here. Okay. So... How, is, how big is a... Like... 60 foot cone is... How wide is it? You can drop it. place to move. Yeah, I was measuring it out right now. Oh, don't worry. I'm trying to get the max amount possible. So, what if I were... Yeah. Well, you might want to get that other woman. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to the full system. Did you move? Huh? Yeah, I moved like one square to the... There you go. And then I can okay. move it accordingly, I don't know. Okay, uh, I'll move one more. There. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be in the northeast direction, it can also... Oh, okay. Yeah, but I feel like this is probably the best. And you're not right gonna now. get that other baby girl woman. Uh... Six? Yeah, to the Lady Eye Hunter's mark. Oh, so in general it's 12. Or yeah, because she's, cause she's... Wait. Yeah, okay. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, she, she passed the save, so half of 11 is 6, right? Mm -hmm. And then she takes an extra 6 because of Hunter's mark. Yeah. Everyone here is just like, meh. <laughs> a crap ton of arrows hail from the sky, killing a majority of them. The lady still stands. She's Ooh. got arrows in her. Shit. That is my turn. 
So that critical, she incapacitated forever or one round? Or how does it work? Uh, as far as the incapacitation lasts forever, especially undealt physically. Unless you change it. Alright, so she can still move, but she can't take any actions. Yeah, no right, actions or react. Messed her up. Okay, so then, can she actually do anything then, George? No, right? She can move. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she can't gonna, actually do anything. I'm gonna go and shoot the other one then. Is that a hit? In 24? Mm -hmm. And then... Okay. Uh, 51 damage, that ends my turn. Is everyone's concentrated on Orils and Kermit's straightforward attack around the corner and arrow just fucking slices through her freaking arm as well. You get a huge chunk of damn. <laughs> a huge chunk of damn. Is it a goddamn? <laughs> God damn. Yeah, uh, Kilo puts uh, its thumb to its mouth and... <laughs> 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 and then, uh... There it goes. <laughs> Making noises again. Everyone's no uh, ears start to bleed. And if that, um... Raiden... Raiden... How do I say his name? Fucking Raiden? Yeah, Raiden. Raiden. Come on, man. Raiden. If that, Raiden, Ularo, and, um... Dave... Deiru... They gain, uh... Two die ten. So they're ten hit points. So go ahead and roll that up for yourselves. So is that all allies or just a certain amount? Just four. Okay. It's my charisma modifier. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. And then uh Kilo Dutes again. <laughs> and then uh sets down hypnotic pattern. In this radius here. Not There's radius, no but you know. It's gonna hit this bunch here. I'll just roll six, why not? Six wisdom six. To lose, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, what's your DC? 17. Three lose. Four lose. Shit. <laughs> and they whispered it to me because it's old cards. My bad. Uh-oh, uh, music restored. There you go. Okay, and that's turn. Ooh. Lizard man eats Archimedes. He wouldn't dare. He's a lizard, of course he would. Yo, when does Archimedes get his surprise round turn?
Okay, I gotta run and do something real quick. I'll be right back. Boo. Boo. Kathy, you're ruining my immersion. I know. No. Thank you. Sad dude. <laughs> dude of sadness. <laughs> God, that needs to be like a custom spell. <laughs> All these hypnotized people just, just got messed up. It just gives them a disadvantage on attack rolls because they're too sad. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, eh. <laughs> Have at thee or whatever. <laughs> Have at you. Oh no, I forgot to create a new sheet for her. <laughs> We're just giving himself all the fun stuff. We're waiting for Alkai to finish the turn, Jeez. No, I just forgot because like it changed everything. Hmm. Hmm. Should I pet Bubby or Darty? Bubby or Darty? Yeah, which one should I pet? Hmm, Darty. Okay, I gotta go over and pet him. <laughs> She become a fighter. <laughs> she whacks that one across. Yeah, because somebody's playing. Somebody else is playing. <laughs> yeah, someone. Someone got good. <laughs> someone else gets extra attack because they want. <laughs> I forgot she doesn't get an extra attack. God damn. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> this is my bad, JJ. No, I'm. Please. If she if she had extra attack, I'd be sending her in to whack everything. <laughs> whack! 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 Quack, quack. You're lately. From the two turns. Oh, it's my turn. So normal turn time, huh? I was grooming my camp. So that woman's still up. That other woman's not looking too great. Um, so it's no longer a surprise. Um, I'm gonna whisper into my bow and I say, kill that motherfucker. And both bow that woman over there. Open up this, get advantage. And boosh. Boosh. Alright, take that 20. 16 points of damage. Shoot her again. Boosh. Boosh, take the 21 and do 19 points of damage. And then shoot her again. Boom. Oh, a critical hit. Come on. No speech. Oh, she was casting spells, not today. And. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 24 points of damage. With so a barrage of arrows and then a shot through her throat, she finally goes down. <laughs> and I'll move uh, 35 feet right here. And that's uh, my turn. I go, we got this, boys! Mm. Uh, that's mm. the wrong mm. voice. Me! <laughs> Okay, or I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we got oh fuck. Well, <laughs> we Easy got Kermit. this. I gotta remember the things to be done. Go on the Barnaby. All right, all right, all right. You know, Barnaby became a god and went through him. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Then Barnaby lost his hand. Uh, uh, he didn't put the ring on his hand. 
Uh, I'm gonna take uh, two sharpshooter shots at the standing like lady in the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I wasn't shooting that woman. I was shooting the other one. Damn. <laughs> oh, well. I was shooting the other one, but I guess we'll just play it off that I killed that one instead. So I'm guessing those are both hits, right? Nah, JJ. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna roll the critical success for the uh, first one. Three times damage. Goodbye. <laughs> She's dead. What do you got? What do you, honey, what do you, yeah, okay, that's what you do. The fucking dragons come out. The consumer soul. Uh, so can I use my second shot for another one? Yeah. I have the brutal. Simple, Simple geo. geo. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll go ahead and hit. Uh, yeah, and then I just hear... My deranged ranger yelling Sokka in the back. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I got, I got carried away. <laughs> Which one? Uh, this one, the one near that. Fucking Hawkeye over here, <laughs> turning around. Just... God damn, that felt so good. <laughs> what does Archimedes do? Uh, oh, right. Oh, by the way, uh, for my bonus action, since she died, I can transfer Hunter to my but there's no one really. I'll transfer it to, like, that guy that's <laughs> staying still. Uh, I'll have Archimedes. Just chill there, because I don't want him to die. <laughs> you can move him, right? Yeah, I can. And I've got access to his character sheet, too. I'll just, I'll just say, yeah. stay! Bad Bloodhawk. I'm not gonna get this guy. Damn. That's a hit. Oh yes! <laughs> so they were lackeys. Does uh, that kill him? I don't know. Yeah. He's dead. And that uh, ends my turn. Pilo. For some reason, he's a warlock too. Pew pew pew, let's go, wee. Another gun. Who's blasting him? Pilo. One of their guys is just like that hot and he's dying for some reason. At this point I'm gonna say combat is over because these guys don't wanna fight anymore. <laughs> Either way. Fight us! Fight us! I wanna start shooting them as well. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot my arrows. I'm not letting any of them escape. Understandable. As the arrows <laughs> fly over my head, I go look at the two women's bodies to see if anything important is on them. Any letters or special items. Uh, well, I don't think it's the actions. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, I don't have an NPC card. This is Deiru.
Did, did that. It's Deiru. Yeah. I just see all these X's going on, people. I figure just exiting the combat and figuring that uh, Archimedes just kills everybody. Yes, they, he picks their eyes out. No, Deiru killed four and Ated killed the last one. There's no way she could miss unless she failed, but even then. Makes sense. I begin the search on the bodies. As you look over the bodies, they don't seem to have anything specific on them. How did they know we were here? Is it something about this land we're on? Or does somebody tell them where we are? What do you guys think? The thud says that, in general, red hags can sense people, but not from very far distances. Something is giving them a weird advantage. And Oreo, you would know this as well. They can sense the blood inside people. Yeah. There's, a rain There's like a link to that. Weird. So is there any way we can protect ourselves from them tracking us like that? We can kill them. Oh, well, you know, obviously, but, uh, anything else? Not that I can think of. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Alright, well, I couldn't find anything on these w No, uh... They, they have no armor or weapons on them, right? No, they weren't wearing armor. And what are they hags or they're just women? They definitely don't look like normal women. They look like of the fake kind. So if they say they're hags, they probably are hags. So anything special about uh, hags blood or parts of their body that we can find useful? She kind of ponders for a second. She's like, I, I don't think so. Okay. Hmm. Would I know that? That's a good question. Always hear stories about voodoo and eyes. Who knows what these hags are up to? Maybe to another hag, this would be very useful. But... So, if just a normal person like you, you can't think of anything you could use from a hag that might, you know, benefit you. They don't have any type of poisons, they don't have any type of... I mean, and on top of everything, it's their knowledge that is probably much more coveted than anything else. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do the hags have octopus things on them? No. Do the people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why, what do you think? Uh, makes these hags want to be in line with these cultist people. It seems that they're doing it willingly and all. What do you think their motivations are? Hmm. Huh. That says she doesn't know, but that poses a pretty good question. No doubt, maybe we'll find out going forward. Hmm. Maybe right. it's just some sort of deal. And does our, do our characters know about the Kraken in the end? You've heard rumors of a Kraken? The end, most definitely. Wow. And do we do we know that this is cultist or er, uh, aligned with the end? They've been growing increasingly ever since this group began dealing with them. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just asking, like, uh, would my character be like, oh, these cultists are about the end. Like, this is these are cultists trying to make the end happen. As far as you know, yes. Okay. Why would a bunch of hags want to make uh, the end happen for everybody? That's a strange thing. I can't, but then again, what are these octopus people? What's their deal? <clears throat> And Ted kind of looks around at all the bodies and she just starts to think, she's like, don't know, like, why does anybody want the world to end? <laughs> well, I know, but you know, these ones are slaves, it seems. 
Uh, yeah, the one that's alive over here, I just rape your hand. <laughs> <laughs> just walking around casually. Yeah. And I'm, I'm neutral good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, have peace in the afterlife, my friend. Whoa. Shall we continue forward? Where's Pilo? Pilo! I was hoping Kathy would pop by, but I don't think she will. There doesn't seem to be anything else that you guys can gain from these people other than the fact that you know they do have tracking capabilities. It's not going to be very safe going through the forest, but you feel, or specifically Uriel knows, you're getting very close to an encampment. Mm. What do you want to do? Well, it seems like we can't rest for too mm. long because they're... They'll be able to sense us out and track us down easily. We could probably rest for a little bit, and we can't just assume that they're always going to be sending people after us, but uh, eventually they're going to do it. And who knows if they know we're here now. Maybe that was just a random group of uh, patrol hags or something, and they just happened to find us. No one saw some sort of signal flare or anything, but then again, maybe they got some sort of magic ability to communicate with the friends over at the encampment. So I think we should push on and get her done. Stinky's right, guys. <laughs> I th I thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> joke. No, that's, that's not me. me. That's, that's me. Oh, oh he deleted that's... it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I fixed my mullet. And uh, so, if you guys are all set, um, they did come from three different directions. Does anyone have an idea of uh, where the encampment of all these people might be? Hmm. Can I do a survival check? Yeah. For that? You're coming no, 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 up no, no, very 19. close to the general area where you feel like they're hanging out. According to what Ethed said, it does definitely feel like they're near the mountain. Hmm. Oh. Ah! Probably in some sort of cave or something. So you miss Kermit giving some pretty deep, uh, deep thoughts about uh, why hags are colluding with the end. Sorry about that. You should be. <laughs> my niece, my niece came over. But I appreciate. Oh. Uh, and then you, you, she came over. You said hello, and then you left her, and that was it. That's what I do. <laughs> Your niece. Your brother got it on. Okay. Yes, so, you do. Four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> At one time. Um, never again. <laughs> never again. <laughs> made, out, made out with a hot dog. That was one time. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's try to find this mountain, shall we? We don't know where the mountain is, Kermit. It's right there. She points towards <laughs> the mountain. <laughs> what? Stop, man. You people and your jokes. You know full and well I was talking about finding the mountain with the cave. Or whatever encampment they have. Don't be silly. Kermit, uh... Ask everybody you all say? Uh... Oh, before we move on, uh... I want to... Is there something I have to roll to like see if I can recover any arrows? Throw me a perception check. Twelve. How many arrows did you throw? Two. I have six out there, and and they're all stuck in bodies. Perhaps you can grab some nice arrows out you of the one box. Yeah. Um. What were the weapons the cultists were using? Scimitars. Okay. Um, uh, Pilo approaches the group. Unit 09 is ready to punish the bad children. 
What? Yeah, <laughs> I go. I go uh, Stop being I'll weird. Yeah. David just says this is getting awkwardly kinky. Because <laughs> it's probably something you would say. It is. I would not doubt that at all. Well, come on, guys. I'll keep my eyes and ears peeled, and I hope you do too. Hmm. Can I you're, take? You're due. You're due. <laughs> you're due. Uh, you do too. Uh, <laughs> you do. I I proceed. I guess uh I guess uh Ray's on the phone or something. He's not talking. No, I'm here. Oh, he's here. Oh. I want to take yeah. two of the scimitars. Okay. I mean, you guys are just picking up arrows. <laughs> I, I didn't pick up no arrows, son. Eventually, I'll pick up some arrows, but not now, not today. But yeah, get those scimitars. They're they're finesse weapons. Can I get two of them, George? Yes. Yes. There's wow, nothing George. stopping you. There's a shit ton of scimitars on the ground. Yeah. You're so, so generous. To the, only thing, the only thing I've got are daggers. Like, I, I'd be lying if I said some of them broke because they used them in battle. Like, that's complete shit. Like, some of the, the most of them died without doing anything. <laughs> you know what? I'll pick up a scimitar. Also known as scimitar. 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 Okay. I proceed to go to the mountain. With my all my buddies. But then moves forward as well. Is anybody else doing something? I move forward. So a thread. I heard you're looking it's for freedom. Chunk, chunk. Wait, what? I, I, I said uh, that I, I heard she's looking for freedom. I have no idea what you're talking about. He uh, looks at his uh, recruitment pamphlet, and it says "Athed and the Freedom Fighters," and he just put, he puts it in his uh, coat pocket and goes, "Oh, n n never mind." <laughs> and she awkwardly turns around, and is like, L "Let's get the mission done." I agree. So uh, Kermit completes the mission, and we all celebrate. You guys push forward. Not completing the mission yet. <laughs> yeah, Kermit dies, and then we complete the mission. Why you gotta? Why you gotta say mean things like that? Kermit. Kermit's never gonna die. You're breaking up, Kathy. What's your What's your joke? <laughs> what's your joke? <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I don't even know what she said. Okay, you broke up. <laughs> Was there anything you were gonna say? I don't know. Kathy. Huh? What? What did you say? It, well, I guess the internet gods decided to spare yeah. to censor you. I said, "What's your joke?" Because I I couldn't hear it, and we all. Oh, know. I thought you were just trying to trying to trying to be a dick. No, we couldn't. <laughs> <do that. laughs> Know I said the mission is to kill Kermit, like fucking GG. Hey. <laughs> like, two birds, one stone. <laughs> I thought you were just being a dick, she says. Fuck. <laughs> Over there, Arch Archimedes is just like, um. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. You push forward to the forest edge and you see encampments lining the entirety of the mountain. There seem to be cave works going inwards and there's a crap ton of cages all around that seem to be housing several types of humanoids and animals as well. Hordes of people are being pushed across forcefully <coughs> in every single direction. It doesn't seem like anybody's noticed you at this point, though you wouldn't be too surprised. There's so many people, just such a volume of life around here that Considering what you know so far, it wouldn't be very easy to depict you from the entireties of the crowds, as well as the general forest life. Well, we got we got this close, and I figure since we got so many other people here, it'd probably be really hard for them to use their ability to sniff us out. But that doesn't mean that they won't do it eventually. Um. What do you guys figure we'd do? Just go in there, rip it on the part? 
We are here to get rid of them after all. Hmm. But that seems a little broken. She says, we have to report, but as she seems to be looking in a specific direction. What's, what's the matter with that? What do your children eyes see? <laughs> Pilo. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Get some Pilo, help. calm down. Hey, hey, stop it. Get some help. Hey, hey Pilo, divide by zero. And it just falls over. <laughs> <laughs> and you get encroached upon <laughs> every damn time, Aurelia, you bitch. <laughs> It's just so funny. Dave is already <laughs> gone. Fucking a thousand movement speed. Yeah. Naruto over there. Like, so yeah. Naruto. <laughs> so yeah. He's like, he's like, and he's just like his spear to like leap off and get over ledges like nothing. <laughs> uh, hey, slow down. I gotta climb this. He's like, keep up. <laughs> All right. So we just see like a, a, a lot of people over there. Uh, like slave people and shit. Do we see like a bunch of hags or like some sort of monstrous creatures or anything? Yes. There seems to be in addition some strange type of even taller type of creatures, humanoids, if you will. But again, these people have womenly figures just like the hags, but they don't look like hags. They, they, they look as close to human, yet at the same time, just not right. Do you think these are manufactured hag? And these other creatures might be, uh, mutated creatures of some sort? Mm. What, do you th what are so, these creatures you see, my friends? We can't ID them because they're, like, not looking like themselves, right? JJ, to you, you recognize it as a fiend. Oh, big boy. I have an arrow for him. <laughs> or her. Or it. Whatever. The way it moves, the way it acts, it doesn't seem to have an aura of hallucination or, or, or hallucinatory effects. or it, it just seems to have dark magics rolling around it. Very different from hags. What do you guys know about those type of creatures? Hmm. Can I roll in intelligence to recall information? Knowledge is power. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge. What Just straight up Knowledge. intelligence. Uh, give me... Is there something that you could roll? <laughs> I'm trying to think of Just, the top uh, of just it honestly depends yeah. on what you want to know. Um, Maybe if you just want to roll an intelligence against. check, sure. But if you find anything specific, I'll let you roll it. Hmm. Figure out their defenses, because like you're going over with fiend and finding out you can't hurt it or something. That would be shitty. And then, like, why? Like, uh, what type of uh, dangerous attacks it has would be good to have too. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go get murdered. Or I'll dominate it or something if it has something like that. Yeah, I think I'd rather go with the attacks just so like we're better prepared for that. Um so what would that be? Any like just any like spooky, scary, dangerous abilities maybe? Spooky, scary, scary. You can roll survival man. I mean I, I can't Survival Man. Drink some pee. I don't know. We got we got those knowledges there. I don't know. The <coughs> knowledge would fall Actually, under. insight wouldn't have been too bad. But either way, survival's fine. Um, it's actually the same thing. Uh, looking at it directly, uh, you it, the the distance is too far. There's just too many people to really kind of get an accurate description. But you can easily tell that this is a powerful creature. As for 
strength, bulkiness, or its ability, if you imagine, to withstand attacks, you imagine that this thing could definitely do all those things. It being enveloped in such fiendish type of magic, you have no doubt that that might increase it, but physically, beyond the magical kind, this thing clearly has a set advantage over you, or rather, it's going to be a pretty hard thing to fight it up close. From its visage, from its look, you can tell it's a very charismatic beast, from the way it walks, from the way it talks, it seems to command in general, so you imagine it might be pretty good in that sense as well. As for chinks in its armor, you you can't seem to find any. Hmm. So, how large is the creature? You're talking something almost as big as, uh... <coughs> Usually got size a cat. bear standing on its hind legs. Alright, so possibly large. Um, how many, how many, like, uh, pseudo hags are there? Several. Uh, you were looking at somewhere around uh, a good 20, 30 at a time, as well as different types of hags. You, 20, 30 from the ones you saw, but as well as different kinds, seem to be roaming around. And they don't have uh, squids on them, right? No, definitely not. Are they similar to the ones we saw before? The Yes, there's 20, 30 of similar. There's also like a bunch of un other ones that you've never seen before. And the ones we haven't seen before, they, they look like... They look they ugly. Look? They look hunchy. Like, the ones you saw looked pretty, like, like human-ish. These so, definitely look like these storied hags. Just hunchback and cackling at all times. White hair. So, like, I don't know if anyone in the party would, but I, I'm just thinking of ideas like maybe they were recently initiated. I don't know if the hags are a race or people like do some ritual or something, but maybe they were recently initiated or um, re uh, they were they're not actual hags and they're like uh, innocent people that were like mutated into a hag or something. But I don't know if anyone in the party would have more information on what what's the difference between the super hunchback and Notre Dame hag versus the like all right, like all right, looking hag. Like, anyone have any ideas? Or can roll a check or something? As you guys begin to like slightly discuss, I suppose in a type of scoutish type way, as well as JJ, you probably know some of this information offhand from your character. But Athed does point in a specific direction, and it's what she's been looking at this entire time. I asked her about that. I, what is she I love The cultists and hags seem to be moving Look people with your forward special eyes. towards these <laughs> giantess fiendish people. These fiends wow. look forward and they seem to be asking types of question to the questions to these people. Some of them start to rave madly and go crazy. Others begin to contort and change into different beasts as well as hags and fey type creatures fiends are doing this there's multiple f other fiends yes how many not other as many though right now you see like somewhere around six and these things all look badass like the other one? Oh yeah fuck yeah they're moving around just swiftly scaredly if you and they're <coughs> changing the squid people into super not no, oh well yes no you you'd see the changing of squid people but the captives that they have are changing to squid people yes no not squid people not squid people oh well, they're all turning into hags so this is just becoming a hag place how quickly is this happening like is it like just bow, 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 no no no, no like they they they're moving up and then they seem to be talking for somewhere around five ten minutes and then after a while, some of them seem to contort and turn. Others are taken away farther into the cave. And a few of the others, are their throats are immediately slit. And their blood is being poured into jars. I think some of those people are agreeing to go along with it. And some people are not. And obviously they'll get their throat slits. Probably not. Or maybe... 
they are necessary for whatever ritual is happening. They got to spill the blood so the others can turn into the hags. Well, I don't know why some of them are just going into that cave over there. It looks like we're going to be heavily outnumbered out here, and it makes no sense for us to attack with all these spooky, crazy-looking fiend people. But what's in that cave? Maybe we could find something in that cave. What's our plan of escape, Fed? I don't know. All I know is those people are definitely not doing this willingly. I don't care about the cultists, she says coldly. Coldly. Oh yeah, it's one of those situations where uh, you get stuck up and you say, please give me your money, and it might look like they're willingly doing it, but it's uh, under duress. They can clearly see those people are getting killed right in front of them. They don't want to end up dead. They'd rather take the chance of becoming one of those hag people, I figure. So you guys think of uh, think of trying to see what's in that cave? Try our luck there? Or we could skedaddle on home and port and try to make sure we find uh, enough people to really take care of the situation. I don't think we'll be able to sneak in there without being risked. I thought agrees. She says there's just too many people, but whatever you guys decide, you are the more experienced ones. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem Raiden. like a smart idea to do this, huh? Just us. Well, some of you guys got a, a trick up your sleeve that I don't know about. Raiden, what are your thoughts? Asked one of uh, asked our friend here with the bird. Your, your how do you say it? Uriel? Uriel. Uriel. Okay. Well, oh, I say we inform the council. All right. So we can get we can get back whenever we want, right, Ethan? Yes. And we should we should skedaddle because every second that passes by, another person's getting converted. And when we do storm this place, they're probably going to be compelled to fight us. And that won't be any good. We got lucky before not having to see what they were made out of. So, uh, we, we all agree to get back there and yes. inform them. Straight to the Enclave then, she asks? I think so, a fed. Yeah. She's a little bit awkward to your accent. She's like, oh, uh, nobody else interjects. So she hits it. She bops a tree, and a portal opens again. I I jump in. Pushing through, you guys make it towards the council, specifically Baralt. You tell him the information you've gotten. Is there anything else you tell him? Um. Besides all the details of the people transforming and the fiends and the and the cave and the encampment, all that stuff, like that's getting told to him, right? Mm -hmm. The cave and everything. Oh, ask him like, uh, what's your plan of action from from here on out, sir? He begins to kind of think, and he's like, "What are their numbers?" Uh, with you guys being so close, we haven't gotten that much of information. Oh, man. There could be there could be untold numbers in that cave, I reckon. Well, you guys have a, a good eye and a good mind for counting things. That's a lot of them. We only saw about twenty or thirty on the surface, or on the outside, I guess. Well, there are a lot of those captives, though. Every there were hundreds of cultists. You'll, I'll say that hundreds. much. Oh, you okay. see 30, 40 hags, but yeah. cultists. Oh. Mm. oh, okay. Chunky. No, I'm kidding. Chunky. There's a lot. Beefy. <laughs> Beef. Well, there Beral, you go. <laughs> yeah, Beral begins to kind of relay the information, write it down, and he says. Well, with that, uh, 
I don't like to send people into such dire, very little known circumstances, but from what you say, this calls for immediate action. I agree, sir. I'm going to begin gathering my forces and begin relaying the information to the Crimson Bear on the current attack. The moment dawn arises, we're going to be attacking them. It's up to you what direction you decide to take or whether you lead your own group, help us out in the Emerald, or help the Crimson Bear. It's very difficult odds, but I believe the objective is to get into that cave and stop whatever they're doing, or destroy whatever's leading this current group. Mm -hmm. Oh, hit job, huh? Oh, it seemed to be a pretty uh, troublesome to get in there. Are you, are you suggesting, uh, well, young men make a distraction? We, we get in there and we get down to business? If that's what allows you guys to get inside, then yes. Uh, uh, and George, our group here is from the Crimson Bear, or we're from the Emerald Place, or what, like, what are the origins of our? Raiden and Oril are from their own group, their own adventuring group, and they've invited you along. Oril and Raiden specifically, and Devar as well, are a part of the Emerald Enclave. That is the only affiliations. <clears throat> so, uh, they came to me because they only had two members and they joined Kermit's group, okay. No, you joined along with them. Ah, uh, always <laughs> with this. <laughs> and Pilo 9 just followed us and wouldn't stop. You can fill They're in our the blanks. They're children to protect. Difference. <laughs> <laughs> A, f a fade. We, we've been having a good time with you thus far. Who are you gonna go with? You gonna go with your Crimson Bear brethren? Assuming they go. We were able to handle a good group of people. If we can <clears throat> use the diversion of the groups to push straight through, that might be the best choice. I'll do whatever you guys are up for, though. But we need to get in there and stop whatever's happening. Well, perhaps a smaller group is better for getting in there unnoticed, so we don't have a bunch of people closing us off in the back, assuming everything goes nice and dandy outside. So you guys figure we all just group up again? Hmm, Archimedes? Don't talk to my bird. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son. <laughs> he's, he's talking to your bird, but he's the one making the bird noises. Like, my I know. No. Oh, I know. <laughs> no. That wasn't in character. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, their silence is. Uh, their silence is complete agreement to yes. the suicide exactly. pact that we've now endowed. Murder so suicide. I, All right. Got it. Food in our bellies and uh, get to rest, especially you with that. Maybe we can find someone to uh, get us over there instead of you having to use your magic. Or if no one can, we'll just use your magic and we'll send all the, uh, the troops in. Baralt laughs. There's going to be a lot more druids than just the that. Ah, then good. We'll, we'll use them so a Thad could get all her spells. We're gonna need them. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, uh. We're gonna need a bit of time, but whatever you guys decide to do, do it. <clears throat> do you have any other fiends slaying an arrow? No. Okay. Um, you got any, uh,. Better studded leather armor than what I'm. Not that I know of. Okay. You got You've got other, other types of armors. You got any knickknack paddywax down there that I should know about? Uh. 
I have to go prepare oh. if there's... Oh. Can I do uh, either, like, another survival check or something? The, like, what kind of protection we would need from fiends? From fiends? Yeah. Like a specific type, like... Like fire, or like poison or something? What's more common? In general, from fiends, you can only think of poisons necrotic. Poisons necrotic. Alright. So, so, would you have anything to protect against things such as that? Since we'll be going into the caves? Antidotes? We have antidotes, if that's something you need. Uh, as far as necrotic, no. Perhaps some of those druid people before we set in could put some protection spells on <clears throat> us, knowing that fiends and hags are around. Easily, if your group requires a specific type of resistance or buff specifically, we oh, can accommodate for that before the fight. Yeah, I figure, figure well, that's what we should do. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna be us having to complete the mission, or all all's gonna be failing. Sounds good, and I still think we should take a few of those antidotes. Yes. Give me some of them. He gives you seven. Seven. Okay. Okay, so there's five of us, right? Including a fat? Yes. Okay. And then you got your lizard boy. E. Oh, right, right, right. Not six. including okay. a fat, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. So six with Dedu and a Yeah. Okay. So everyone can get one. That leaves two left. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. Archimedes. No, I'm kidding. I was thinking of Archimedes too. Yeah, hopefully he won't be in the fray of it. That's up to you, JJ. <laughs> what happened to Ray? Oh, he died. He did say he was tired. You think so? He, he yeah, he said he, he said he hadn't slept. GG. <laughs> I guess it's time to kill Raiden. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh... Alright, so everyone add one antidote. You got it, buddy. Or antitoxin, rather, right? I have no idea what it's called. Is it antitoxin or antidote? Oh. Uh, saving throws against poison for one hour. Okay, I yeah. guess it's antitoxin. Okay. It's antitoxin, right, George? Yes. Oh. Alright, so we've got two extra, so... So we'll just drink them before we go in, and, uh... Who's gonna be... Is there a oh. resistance to necrotic damage that exists in uh. a spell? I'm gonna give an extra one to Deru, since he's in the front lines. And Raiden's also front line now, right? Yes. Okay, I'll give an extra one to him. At this point, Berald would uh, say, well, we do have one potion of resistance to necrotic, but that's all we can spare. Better to have it than not have it. Yeah, I'll we'll decide who can get that one later. I just grab it and... Figure up the we'll figure out where to who to give this to. Um, I asked the party, what type of spells do you think we should ask for before going in, or do you think that they'll have uh, some good ideas? No clue. I don't. Yeah, I have no fucking idea of any spells in this game. <laughs> He's probably only last for a little bit. Up to one minute, so that's not really too help. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's I only good in combat. I'll do a montage of uh, 
getting some bow exercises in, eating some food, and uh, talking to Pilo, and Pilo going, you are a child. And I go, <laughs> what? Child. Bad child. Kathy! Is Kathy there? <laughs> <laughs> Bronzes. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. I really must get to preparing. Yeah, sorry for taking your time. Don't no problem, man. Best of luck. You too. In the days to come, the Emerald Enclave begins to prepare all its forces, as well as you prepare yourselves mentally, physically, emotionally. Emotionally. Spiritually. <laughs> Portals begin to form on the next dawn as forces move straight through, going further and further, begin to set up their staging areas. Preparing for the initial attack, you guys are scouting along the edges of the forest, ensuring that the Emerald Enclave and the Crimson Bear are allowed their time, their places to be able to set up exactly what they need. Did you roll perception check? Oh, boy. With advantage. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> ah, oh, boy. That's it. Mm. 18. You notice a group of people walking. They seem to be huddled and generally riled up. Uh, I don't know. They seem weird. Riled up? How do you mean riled up? They're upset. Torn they're clothes, saying. dirty faces. And are in the encampment we're at? No, walking in the forest. Oh, man, you're saying we we traveled back to the place? Yes. Oh, well, that's what I've been saying. Kind of, I thought we were going to get some buffs before we got sent over. I said that the Emerald Enclave is pushing over. They're trying to set up their staging area. And you're scouting to allow them to do that. Okay. They got squids on them? No. I don't know. So, um, <laughs> should I assume that your character told me about this? Yeah. Hey, it might be a, it might be a trap. Probably. I don't think it's worth it. Thing is... We don't put Those ourselves children up. look like they could use assistance. I know, but the thing Hello, is, we're... don't you dare! Well, we're gonna be <laughs> coming. We're gonna be invading here pretty shortly, so I figure if they're escaping, they're safe over here right now. No need to get involved. There's and other... if they're not escaping, then they have a chance to flank us later. I, I look at the look people, at the are people. they all like emancipated and stuff? Or, like, there seem to be elderly children, women, a few men. Pilo sees the children. But are they all like skittish? Pilo's staring at the children intently. Ew. They look all, they look all <laughs> slavish and stuff. Like, they look all slavish and stuff? Like they're all skinny and just like atrophied muscles not, and stuff? It's not, yeah, actually yes. They look okay. like they've been through a rough time. A very rough but, uh, time. Are they in a little camp of their own, or are they? No, they're like moving. They're, they're moving across they're the forest. Alright, I, I say just or they're not moving towards the encampment, right? They're moving away. Away, yes. I mean, and it's they... it's relative because like, yes, they're moving away, but like it's um, it's not directly away. Like it doesn't they... seem like their path was <laughs> directly away from the mountains. They seem to be crossing. Are they being paranoid? Are they speaking? Are they being really quiet? Are they trying to tiptoe? The men look paranoid. Everyone else just looks tired. They seem to be moving as speedily as they can, but again, they look tired. And they're just trying and to stay as a group. So none of them look hopeful or anything? Definitely not. I don't think they've escaped. I think we should just let them be. If I, if I was a slave... The children I, need me. Yes, they do, and that's why we're gonna wait and get into that cave and put an end to all this. They have not eaten lunch. What? I... No, Pilo. Snow children about? need more lunch. 
Uh, and David was like, yeah, I agree, they need lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this coming from the bottomless pit. Well, let's, fig let's finish our uh, scouting mission and head back so our people are going to be in um, grave danger. Time's of the essence. The, More of, what? the Emerald Enclave is like, we're scouting ahead of them, right? Yes. Okay. Uh... The more we scout, the, be the more safe it's going to be for the Emerald Enclave and the Blood uh, yeah. Cave or Bear, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, that's why we're scouting ahead for them, yeah, and we bumped in into these people. Yeah. That's why we're going to just uh, push on and not bother wasting our time with these people. And they're going to bump into the Emerald Enclave. Well, if they do, it's just going to be a bunch of raggedy people. I'm gonna I'm gonna do perception to see if I see any hags or fiends around. Um, if I could ever find it. You do not. You just simply see those people. All right, then I will do an insight on the people to see if like it, you get an impression if like. Can they I are... assist on that since Pilo is actively looking Whoa. at them? Oh, uh, didn't yeah. need it. I, yeah, I just want to make sure that like it looks like I, I don't know. How to describe it, but when when someone's like go like go this way and they're being supervised by slavers or something like I don't like they're all some look tired and some look paranoid. I don't know the paranoid people are, are just like I hope people don't just randomly kill us and the tired people are like uh, another day of slaving. The men look like they're looking around, constantly looking at the forest edge, as if to maybe look for general danger. The people don't look like they're being forcefully led around, like you're saying anyway, slavers. So I got a, I got a good feeling about these people. Is there they a... They seem to be running, or moving away from a situation. Um, I say I got a good feeling about these. I'm doing Let us speak to the children. No. Is there any check uh, for, like, uh, I know, like, because I know some of the, the druid spells have, like, a DC and, like, oh, I think it's a perception check to, like, notice it before you stand on it. And some illusion spells have that. Like, can I roll one of those or something? To see if they're an illusion. Yeah. It would require investigation, but you're too far. Oh, that. too far. Okay. Usually, usually in the, these games, you gotta, like, interact with it somehow. Yeah. But... Do you, do you mention that you you suspect uh, an illusion could be a thing or something? Well, I wouldn't doubt it if Fey are involved. It's best to just leave it alone. We got like every moment we take, another person is being transformed into one of those hags. We gotta we gotta scout ahead, keep going. What if? And what if they're scouts for the cultists? Well, by the time. Our people get get in here. It's gonna be direct assault. We're not gonna waste time on those, and I doubt they can make it over there before our people. <sighs> okay. Like, what, what do you have in your mind right now? You want to go to those people and see what's going on? A little bit, just in case they end up being scouts. Well, then, then what? They're just gonna yell out and we're gonna be had. Unit of nine degrees with Ulrim. What? <laughs> huh, thanks, buddy. And <laughs> I like just kind of like knock on her chest or like stomach <laughs> or something, like dunk, dunk. <laughs> I kind of. Go give her like a thing on my shoulders, like, huh? <laughs> like, wh what is? Hey, I don't see any real point to this. Either they're if they're scouts, then we just want to make sure they don't scout us. And if we go over to them, they're gonna know that we're here. Yeah, and if they go to the Emerald Enclave, they'll scout them instead. If Ed's walking, if they go to the towards them, yeah. I thought right. okay. Pilo so joins her. I'll, I'll follow her too. The Emerald Enclave transported over right now, or are they still at the Emerald Enclave? 
They're transporting over. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. So what do you guys want to do? We're moving up. She <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're we're all walking up. That seems reckless. Okay. Um, I'll go with you guys. Uh, Not any I, of the what's up? Uh, I would tell Raiden to like hide and like try and flank. I guess. He's, he's, you don't even that. see you. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Sleeping. Like he, he just batman <laughs> He he bamfed out. <laughs> um, a third moves up to the group, and they begin to kind of get a little hostile, but not so much so in like we're gonna hit you kind of way. It's more like oh god, there's people approaching us kind of way. I like, I like to go with a third. What's up? I said I like to go with a fed. Yeah, all of I you are there. Marching. Nobody disagreed. Uh, other than Kilo me. begins playing a very friendly song. Howdy there, folk. That's really creepy. <laughs> yeah, that honestly be, is be really creepy. Song. Uh, uh, don't mind our walking music box. It, it's so, duting. What are you guys doing in these woods? Duting really hard. Really good. An old lady moves up, and she says, we're trying to get away from these people. Wait, how close does she move? I don't know, ten feet away from you? Uh, I take a step back. Why? You moved up to her, so she was 15 yeah. and she moved up I, to I Are you doing insight oh. on her to see if she's being really creepy or something? If there's anything wrong with her? There doesn't seem to well, I mean, you haven't rolled behind you. I rolled? 25. Yeah. Something. I mean, if you're creeped out by old ladies, it's your fault. But there doesn't <laughs> seem to be anything creepy about it. Okay. I I go. Uh, all, all right. Well, I'm glad Alkai might be dead and then not the situation. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm glad he's not. <laughs> 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 How long? That, I mean, it, I mean, it's interesting that you bring that up because Athed does say, "You're from Yartar, aren't you?" Oh, oh my god! I tackle her. <laughs> I don't know not what came over me. And then Athed's like, "Not again." <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Finding these She's a people. very attractive old woman. <laughs> How do I keep finding these weirdos? <laughs> but, and she she says yes. Aren't we a bit far from your car? Hey, Some of us were taken you? from there. Take? Why would they take you all the way from there and bring you here? Have you been captured for a long time? No, it must have been maybe a month ago or two. So then how did you get here? You walked all this way? They took us along the rivers near those areas. I don't remember the specific river. I think it's <laughs> called the High River. Took a boat? And how did you escape? There's so many people being captured currently. Out of luck, one of the men was able to smuggle us out. One of the men? They got a defector? Or one of the men in your group over there? No, one of these men. And she points to one of the men in the group. Well, we're gonna need your help. We're trying to make things right over here and get in there and do our business. Any information? We are trying to save the children. The children, yes. For the children. Think of the children. We are the world. <laughs> what about the children? Any information you can give us about what's going on. We saw people turning into hags and telling us how many real hags. I, I want to like nudge him, like, keep quiet. Keep quiet. No, no. I, yes, that is what is happening over there. They are attempting to convert or change us, use us, and if we're not useful, they 
they do every means possible to make sure we comply or we're useful. What happens when you go into that cave? I saw some people straight out got killed. Others changed. And then some went into the cave. Almost the same thing that happens to them on the outside, but others, they seem to indoctrinate them. Over time, they begin to accept whatever they're attempting to do, and they just come out different. Not the same, accepting of whatever those damned bastards are. So, those that immediately change, how does that happen? Do you know? Those strange purple fiends, women, they just speak to them for who knows how long, and eventually they just begin to change. Besides the fiends and those hags, you see anyone else suspicious? Of, of course, except for the squid people on the shoulders of those other people. No, but there are rumors that to the useless people that they have no use for, they take their blood and they dine on it. Those are only rumors, no. I've never seen this. So the rumors are that they indoctrinate people in the cave. They kill the people that uh, aren't of any use right then and there. And then some of the people, they just turn into hags. Yeah. How many, how many of those fiends have you seen? So many, I, I I can't tell the difference between them. Five at a time? So fiends and hags both go into the cave? Yes. What about the cultists? They allowed in there? Yes. Have you seen anything else besides those three? Well, of course, besides the two different hags, so I guess that would be four different things. A strange man once came in and out, but other than that, I've never... Uh, yeah, that was the strangest. Well, the man was almost as big as a giant. What was strange about him? Just the size of him? Did he have a... a he looked a, a human, weird color? not very much giant, and... Clearly, the cultists regarded him as some type of... Leader, maybe? It felt more than that, though. Hmm. A uh, fed. You, you encounter any uh, very tall man who isn't a giant in your travels? Not that I can think of. Hmm. Uh, someone that's aligned with the end. Or, or with uh, something with those uh, squid people, maybe. Anything special about this man besides his height? And he's a set of clothing, objects on his body, he has a beard. Mm, not that I remember or, or saw. You got any more rumors about what the happenings are inside of that cave? No. Hmm. That could just be a big dead end in that cave, guys. What's up? Am I close enough to investigate? Yeah. Okay. Illusions! Okay, All of the- no. <laughs> Just in case. And have I leveled? Mm, you can't tell. <laughs> That's a so big So what do you do? Stick. Just walk up to the old lady and just start touching her shoulder like, are you real? Yeah. <laughs> is this real life? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Raiden's in the back like, god damn it, he couldn't save it. <laughs> Um, I I described the encampment that we were at before, and I, I make sure that that's the same uh, encampment and cave that uh, that she's aware of, and that another one. I don't understand what you're trying to say. 
I'm, I'm trying to describe what we saw the, uh, of the encampment in the cave, and I want to make sure that it's the same thing that uh, she is talking about, and not another encampment in another cave. Do you understand? It sounds the same, she says. Okay. Uh, trying to think of other useful things to ask her. You already, we already well, know the uh, way Apologies, over we're tired. We must keep moving on. We don't want to get caught out again. Um, Afei, do you think we should risk uh, pointing them in a certain direction? She begins to ponder and... It's not Is there only anything you guys people. can think of? No. Huh. But, uh, if we point them in a certain direction, it's not only my people. It could also endanger your people. She begins to gather berries, gives it to the group, and she points them in a direction that isn't the Emerald Enclave, but it's also not where the cultists are at. And the, the poison berries from the hungry... <laughs> if they if things get too scary, eat these. Trust me, it's a lot better than being an octopus person, the suck master. <laughs> the suck master. Meanwhile, Pilo has been like performing for the children the whole time. And they're creeped out by you. <laughs> so, the with the, with children, that twenty nine oh, performance. You're also role? staring at them, Kathy. They've never seen a robot am person I? that stares at them like they're staring into his but soul. Am I staring? You've, I been, say saying you've been saying that. Yes, you've been saying that. <laughs> I well, I said, it, I said it once in the beginning. No, so you she... said it five times. I've been staring at the children. Did I? Yeah. No. <laughs> she said that while we were far away. And, yeah, yeah, I thought, and then, I, and then I, thought got, I only and then, said that when I was far away. No, 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 and then yeah, I said and then you it. got close and you're like, I'm, 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 I'm looking at the children. No, I said I was performing. That's like I didn't say I was. Oh no, I think it's a little that. ridiculous to be like she's. She said it once that she was staring. Like my character no, laughed. No, I agree. And then I like agree. ten <laughs> sessions later, it's like my guy's been laughing the whole time. Forever. <laughs> yeah, never she said didn't say it laughing. one time. She's been <laughs> saying it over and over again. Okay. I only remember saying in the beginning when that they were too. just like investigating it. But yeah, but half, half <clears in. throat> so it's an interesting. Because I remember the first thing I said was. Oh, okay, I figured they're entertaining. Sorry, go ahead. Some machine thing going on. Go ahead. Weird. Entertaining, but it's simply not the setting. <laughs> it's interesting, but like these guys are like beat up. They're they just you know saw some crazy shit, and it's yeah. like listen to my loot. Three. <laughs> It's gonna make you feel better. As you're staring at the children, <laughs> and then you look away, and then you stare, and then you look away. Because you only said it once. No, I'm kidding, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, all right, guys. We should uh, get the, the rest of the distance covered and make sure they got a, a good path. And then we should head back and let them know so we can finally do that push into the cave. The people begin to veer off. Is there anything else? That you ask or do? Uh, we start shooting the arrows. Yeah, I aim at the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> and the old lady looks back slyly, grin, fool. <laughs> and then Rage Archimedes. shoots him down. N Nani? Nani? <laughs> whispers in your ear. Oh my god. Uh, says, <laughs> no, no. He says, uh, they, they saw my face. <laughs> gotta kill him. Um, as an hour goes by, the Emerald Enclave has prepared. Their forces are ready to move, as well as for the Crimson Bear. Is there anything you guys do? This is the last time, and I'm telling you now, that you get to prepare. This is kind of like, just kind of like an intermission, a little bit of things going on, but as well as for you to think. Is there anything else you need in last buffs? Yeah, like uh, we we gave them the our little recon information. I assume. Um, tell them that there's a group of people in the direction of Ed sent them. Uh, I, like like I said, I'm not familiar with the spells in this game, so like if people have uh, uh buffs in mind, 
Like, I don't know what, what they could offer, like, stone skin or something like that? I don't know if they've, like, that's something crazy. Uh, bark skin. Uh, if when we're minutes, a, like, a minute away from actual shit happening, that's the only time I'd actually do buffs. Talk, talk about them giving us the buffs, though. Not you doing the yeah, buffs. Yeah, yeah, for you, that, that would be fine, but, like... Considering the situation, even for you, it would be a little difficult. The moment you get into the fight, it, the fight's gonna break out. I, don't know, I, I ask if they uh, could give us stone skin. Um, well, well, well. Jeez. We're discussing buffs. We had uh, this whole thing with the party's leader. Uh, Look what the still stretching. <laughs> so this old lady and this group of uh, escapee slaves we, we talked to and then they uh, were sent uh, yonder away from uh, our encampment and uh, the former slave encampment to safety and we're getting prepared finally to make our push into the encampment to go into the cave and we're looking for buff suggestions. Are you even there, Ray? No, I'm, 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 I'm here, dude. It's like, oh, okay. this headset's acting up. Oh, okay. It just, it would be stupid if, like, you can't, like, you move your mouse and it's flaming, <laughs> and then it's like, yeah. ain't there. No, but uh, they say bark skin and stone skin wouldn't work very well. Oh, oh Ray. Hmm. Check your equipment, see if you have two antitoxins. As in, like, someone put it into his inventory? Or is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We, if we not, got some antitoxins before. Yeah, if not, add two. So, okay. uh, do they have suggestions for buffs that they could give us? Like, what was wrong with the, the bark skin and the stone skin those buffs? Like, Mechanically, it's a concentration spell. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What do I see? Same, same with protection, right? Yes, or resistance. I'm looking at stone skin. Where do I find if it's a concentration? It says at the bottom concentration. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yes. So what? Uh, what, what type of buffs uh, would last a long time? That would be useful. Pass <clears throat> without a trace. <laughs> <laughs> um. Get one of those. There's mage armor, but that's. It needs to be cast by, like, a wizard, I think. There are no wizards. Yeah, I know. Sorcerer, ri wizard, eight hours, and whatever, I already have, uh, 13 AC. <sighs> Played a Pathfinder game, the guy's like, yo, hold on, I got this buff for you. I was like, sick. And he, he's like, have some mage. And I'm like, I already got arm. Like, I didn't know how mage armor worked. It was really weird. So. <laughs> no buffs at it? all? No buffs. I mean, there's nothing they can do if you, you don't, like... They can't think of anything to help you with. You guys are going to be fighting in a completely different fight. They don't see a point to doing it. Yeah. Agreed. We're going to be going in to try to do, do the Hail Mary is the thing. But all these fucking concentration spells. This game, though. I don't. I don't know any. I don't know the spells. Oh, uh, I guess give us that pass without a trace. Easily. <laughs> they can casting pass without a trace. They, get, they got any arms <laughs> over there to give us some inspiration or something? Inspiration again. Mechanically, it doesn't make sense. Ah. Oh. But doesn't like bardic inspiration only last like ten minutes or something like that? Yeah. I don't. I, it, I'm just. Yeah. It's okay. We've got we've got pillow. Donk donk. <laughs> Here only is on. They got that. Oh my god! More concentration. You people, you you do spellcasting. Think of something. It's all concentration. Yeah. yeah. If 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 yeah no, there's not really any buffs. 
Uh, and if there is, it's be uh, they have to be in your group. Bless Unit O nine's concentration is valuable. Okay. Good for you. I gave you a hug. Hello. How are you going, Good, JJ? good child. Good child. And it like pats his head a little too hard. I'm I'm a little hungry. Are you hungry? I am. And it like grabs his arm and gives it like a squeeze. <laughs> and just breaks it and tears it off. <laughs> Someone get this thing off of me! Yeah, I, want, I, I want to see where this goes. <laughs> this child has eaten. They were just like, this is getting kinky. <laughs> <laughs> help me. Be and then it lets go. Oh, I, my hand's throbbing. What? What was that? Pilo, the child no. has eaten. The no. child has It's lunch. It is fine. I look at the other people. This is not... This is not good. Do not let any children go next to this this monster. Yeah, I, I don't know what you just did, Pilo. That's kind of weird. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't like survive by eating children, do you? No, I think that Pilo believes that feeding children is breaking their arms. <laughs> this child has eaten. Yes, this is really huh. bizarre. So what? I'll, what? I'll avoid what? that. <laughs> What did the child have to eat, Pilo? Gouges your eyes with his foot. <laughs> <laughs> you have been informed. It's like, oh my God, stop. don't do anything right with Pilo. This, this child is on the protein. <laughs> the protein? Oh my God. <laughs> huh. Seems alright. <laughs> Seems like uh, uh, my inexperience with uh, magic has proven <coughs> that, uh, that buffs, yeah, buffs aren't gonna ever be a thing. You, you know those little strawberry candies that your grandparents have that you can't find anywhere else. Yeah. Pilo yeah. like takes one of those out and like shoves it in your face. That's she just has like a gumball <laughs> just on your belly. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, think. <laughs> The druids have still. moved away. Uh, sorry, the the druids have moved away, and they're just they're prepping. Once you guys are ready, the charge begins. Oh yeah, I, I have someone to heal my ass. <coughs> heal. Yeah, I got that two points of damage, bro. That's, Wait, didn't we take a long? Uh, yeah, at some point you healed that. Oh yeah, you're right. That was from. Can Can any of them do anything to give us like temporary HP or something? I don't think so. Make my uh, arrows magical or something? Pilo's the only one to do that. You have oil of sharpness. <laughs> do you have any extra oil of sharpness? No. That would okay, have been don't... a nice thing to ask about. Them. Magic. Like the acquisition. Yeah, oh my god, everything is concentration. Yeah, welcome to my world. <laughs> the life of a druid. Oh, um, how far is it to the encampment? The, or the enemy? Yeah. Like a good, it's not too far. Right, I'll just say no time really wastes. I'll, I'll say to the group, before, before we get in, I need three minutes to oil up my arrows, if you know what I mean. Gross. I know <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> Dude, this is getting kinky. <laughs> this is getting kinky. Yeah. Arrow of uh, slang. I gotta see if I get some magic enhancement or not. No, I, uh, I gotta see if the oil sharpness only works on non magical. But, uh, <clears throat> anyone else have anything they have in mind? Yeah, I'm gonna. One of my things I'm gonna be uh, um, the fiend sling arrow, two normal arrows, and one fiend sling arrow on a plus three. When you know, when we get close, so I can get the maximum 
one hour. <clears throat> is Raiden uh, making sure Shadow Realm is protected? We'll say that. Why not? That's canon. What's Shadow Realm? Fucking Mortal Kombat stuff. Oh. I can't remember what Earth's called. It's something weird. I don't think it's called Earth Realm. It's something, something else. So let's go find uh, Sh Shao Kahn. I need the restroom real quick. Uh, hopefully, Kathy comes back real quick. But uh, if, oh, if there's. Oh, Kathy left? Yeah. Oh, she's in here. Um. If there's nothing else, just think about anything you need at the very last second, and then I'm just going to start the fight. Alright, yeah, JJ, yeah, we'll start saying, we're on stream, say what you're racist right now. Yeah, exactly. Start slurring racial slurs? Yeah, slur it though, when you say I'm... <laughs> <laughs> slur those slurs. Fucking, fucking Warforged. Warforged? Yeah. No, I'm talking real life stuff, bro. This is real life. Nah, nah. Get get with it or get out. Oh boy. Yo, Ray, what's up? What's the deal? You say have you been saying things, Ray? He's got his happy meal mic or something going on. <clears throat> Yo, Ray. Ray Ray. Yo, Ray, you can also type, you know, bro? Use your keyboard. Maybe you got a Happy Meal keyboard too. He thinks we're crazy, don't Oh. Oh, there's Ray. Yo, yo, what's up? This hits it. Have you been talking this whole time, Ray? I I was pretty sure I was talking, and uh, I was like, that... oh, everyone's quiet, and then I did that thing again. Uh, dang. Um, yeah. Uh, George went to take a dump. And Kathy is gonna come back after her dump. <laughs> I thought George, yeah, George went to the bathroom earlier. Must have been drinking a lot of water today or something. Yeah, George drinks a lot of tea. A whole lot of tea. Green tea or just regular tea? Iced nah, tea. Like, like, uh, like iced tea. Iced tea, yeah. And the caffeine will make you go pee pee. Yo, what kind of iced tea does it get? Get some brisk. Oh, fuck. That's nasty. <laughs> Don't say that, dude. George loves brisk. Why? Uh, it has this nasty aftertaste. They have this, like, uh, brisk, like, white tea or something like that that's alright. We're drinking that. But the iced tea in the can or whatever. A little gross. Uh,. When I go to, like, Denny's, I'll get, uh, like, the raspberry brisk, that's okay. But then again, that's from a fountain, so it probably is a little different. But I like uh, Arizona, even though it's sugar than anything, and then, uh, the Snapple. I don't really explore the world of iced tea too much, but I like iced tea. That peach tea. What kind of drinkies do you like, Ray? Ooh, I'll just stick to to water usually. Ah, oh, dang. If I drink a little bit too much of that, I get like uh, that's weird. Yo, JJ, you dare? Yep. Yo, what drinkies do you like? Hmm. Huh. Mm, mostly water, but also uh, agua de Jamaica. What? What is the thing you said? Uh, basically hibiscus tea. Ah. But like chilled. Yo, we all gotta be chill. Any ideas of uh, things to prepare before we journey off into the unknown? Okay, I'm back. You guys ready? Oh no! <laughs> I just asked the question if they had any ideas of what they uh, might you a, need. You had enough time. I know, we were talking about drinkies though, and we found out that you like uh, brisk iced tea, and I was like, Ugh. 
a lot uh, brisk. I don't towards. think it's gonna work out with you in this campaign anymore. I'm sorry. Yo, but I do like the raspberry brisk. You, you, get, the, <laughs> you get the lemon brisk, or what brisk do you like? Any, any, honestly. Any? I think there's one that I don't like though. I think it's like a melon. I haven't tried that. I just know the lemon and the raspberry. And when it's I like go a to like punch too. When I go out to eat, uh, if they have like raspberry iced tea, cause like, like. I like soda, but I, I rarely drink it. But like going out and being out, like like carbonated sugary soda, like has gives me like a, a film on my mouth and it's just nasty. So like uh, I usually do tea because I don't I don't end up having that. But I like uh, the raspberry, the lemon though. I remember as a kid, I have the can of that, have like this weird aftertaste, and yeah. I just had this bad memory of lemon. Like, do you have a different? Do you notice a difference between like canned brisk lemon tea and like bottled or whatever? Like, or does it always have this like weird aftertaste that you've grown to like or something? I don't like heavy sugary drinks, and I find that most teas, like brisk and nest tea, don't have that after, after shit. Because like, if you look at like hard sugary drinks, like fucking grape juice or lemonade, you get that pretty bad, and I hate that. I understand nasty. what it is, but like brisk is super low, like, like especially the normal brisk, like even in cans, like it never really has that film that you're talking about. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm trying to th think, figure out, like Nesty's, uh, like I'm familiar with it, but I can't remember the la last time or really ever. It's not really like, big of a it. difference. It's just slight but favor it, changes. Is is. They're not the same thing, brisk and nesty, are they? Nah, they're two different. It's like Snapple and like fucking Snapple's not bad either. Snapple, nesty, and brisk all different. Have slightly different flavors, but it's the same shit. I like around it's like where Sprite I live. Seven Up. I I don't see anybody with like brisk. Like that's, they sell at the stores and it's at some locations and like soda fountains. But like, is that a big thing in Texas? Like people do the like brisk. I don't think so. I mean, it's sold, so people clearly buy it. Yeah, well, I wonder what they're affiliated with. Huh? It's much more popular yeah, I, than Nesty, I, say that much. I've never heard anyone be a, a, a Brisk fan, but, uh, today's the day. I'm not much of a drinker, I just enjoy, like, good drinks. Especially ones that don't fuck with you. I like, like, when I do iced tea, I usually do Arizona or... But you get a good value with the Arizona and Snapple. That's Snapple's. true. I just don't like their flavors. Mm. I like just that fucking just iced tea, dude. Just like Lipton, you know? Like just that that neat, like just soft taste. I don't know. It's weird. Is that, Anyways. Is, is Lipton the brisk? What's up? <coughs> Lipton? Oh, yeah. uh, no. I think Lipton is like its own shit. Oh, no. It says it here. Lipton brisk. Is it? Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. But Lipton, like... Because there's Lipton Brisk, which is sold, and then there's Lipton, which is powdered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I don't, I don't know what's up with Kathy. Uh, she did. Do we want to wait a little bit more? She wanted to uh, that's up to you guys. I am actually a little bit hungry, so if you want to take a quick break, go for it. But that's you know, again, yeah. you. you know, if it just uh, if, waiting for Kathy, I figured go. Go do your food thing, but uh, then Ray might fall asleep again or whatever he, he was doing before. And you know, JJ just always <laughs> JJ. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, but I'm willing I'm, to go forward if you guys are, unless you you're scared. I'm kidding. Oh boy. Always. <laughs> hey, call me a pussy. Do it nah, do whatever you want. You wanna go get your foodies Kathy or push on or Yeah. We'll start uh we'll start at eleven then. I, I really need to, I probably do need to get food because I'm not I'm getting grumpy. I'm okay. grumpy. So fifteen minutes. Oh and then JJ goes silent. JJ. Yes. When you, where's your family at? Are they, they in Texas or are they in Mexico? Uh, Texas. 
Because <laughs> you, you were talking about like traffic and like all this other long driving and stuff, and I didn't know you went across the border or something. Oh no no no. And then again, I don't know what what part of Texas you're in. Uh, I'm in Austin. My family lives down south, where Ray lives. So you and Ray are best buddies since uh, since kindergarten, right? No, I've known George since kindergarten. Oh, I've known so Ray you're... since high school. So Ray's nothing mm, to you. Or yeah. middle school. I think freshman year of high school. Freshman year of high school, I think so too. How many fights have you gotten into? Fist fights? With like, Ray? <laughs> yeah, like a billion, dude. It broke his nose. Billion. Broke my nose, I broke his nose. We both broke George's nose. And then he found out that it wasn't really me, but somebody else who looked like me, and <laughs> we never actually really got into a fight. <laughs> it's just this you. random dude. So he fought you because of that, and then you broke his nose. Real. My cat somehow got fleas, and I'm trying to... I got them flea collars, I'm trying to groom them room them so the fleas are getting off them. Ray, how did you get rid of your fleas? Mm -hmm. How did I get rid of my fleas? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, Yurdo uh, went into a fire. Got burnt. And he got <laughs> mad because he caught him off of Barnaby's. About, I'm not talking about fictional characters. What are you doing? I don't have- well, none of my pets have gotten fleas. I'm not talking about your pets. I'm talking about you. Yeah, my pets have gotten fleas. <laughs> uh, Darty's very fluffy, so... I'm looking all at, on them to see if I can find some fleas. I don't even know how they got the fleas. Probably got them from you? From me? <laughs> of course, yeah. Just laying in the... Oh, the tall grass every morning for hours. <laughs> oh, man. If that's what you do. Oh, pa yeah, apparently. It, might, it probably would have been something like maybe uh, I bought something at a store. Because I have, like, uh, cardboard, like, things that hold, uh, like, soda cans and stuff. So maybe there was some fleas on that or something. Because I throw them on the ground for mm -hmm. cats to sleep in. Oh, I found one. I feel like one of those monkeys, those chimpanzees that goes and grooms uh, the other one. So you guys excited for Fey Lord Barnaby? Fey Lord? Yeah, he's gonna usurp. <laughs> oh, I can get this flea off. So, JJ, what's your favorite movie? Hmm. That's a tough one. Dirty Dancing? <laughs> nah. Ghost? Nah. Red Dawn? Nah. Point Break? Nah. Do you know Point Break? I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. 
It's a good movie. Got Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze and Surfing and uh, Gary Busey. And that girl from Tank Girl. Who that? Yo, Ray, what's your favorite movie? Oh, dang. I see how it is, right? Mm-hmm. See, most cats will just run away. You try searching on their bodies for fleas and stuff, but Darty here just sits there. Let's me do whatever I want to him. <laughs> just on his back, let me look at his belly. That's good. There was one that I was trying to poke out, but I couldn't get. He's not like infested, but he's got some up. You don't got any pets, right, JJ? Mm, no, not in Austin. Can't afford it. Your family have any pets? Yeah, my sister just got a dog. How about your immediate family? Hmm? What about your like parents? They got they got pets? Well, my sister still lives in right. with them. She's still in high school. What kind of dog is that? Uh, Yorkie, the Yorkshire Terrier. It's a little tiny one. Not really. Flea just hopped on my foot. Rip. But then it hopped off, so I don't know where it is. Good old 15 minutes of inspecting Darty. Yo, if Kathy's not back, what do you guys want to do? You want to call it and uh, pick it up when we get Kathy back sometime? I think it might be better that way. Like, uh, I, if there was, like, a, a lack of playing, like, we haven't played in a long time, that's, like, pretty much the only time that I would be like, yo, let's, uh, let's just push forward. But I generally like to wait for everybody because... I, I like to do these games with like everybody having a shared experience. Yeah. Because then you have something to talk about. Like, yeah. But uh, I don't know what uh, Ray thinks. Maybe Ray just fell asleep again. Who knows? But or maybe his mic no, doesn't. I'm here. Oh, I was I was talking to you before, man. You didn't say no. No, I wasn't getting water, dude. Oh shit. My headset was disconnecting. You're talking. So uh. Yeah, if Kathy's not back by the time George comes back, you want you want to just call it and pick it up. Uh, assuming we play tomorrow, I don't know if everyone's down, but I, I figured since it's usually Sunday Thursday, but just pick it up next time when we play. Yeah, I mean I wouldn't mind. Right now, like like just between like me, like uh, like I've just been having issues with my headset. Like audio is there, and then I'll be talking, and then I'm like, okay, just fuck me. So. Not to get anyone too excited about dropping the game, but uh, on a condition, George comes back and Kathy's not here. Let's we'll see what he wants to do. I'm back. Yo, yeah, I, I mentioned like Kathy's not here, and who knows what's up with that. I figured we might want to just call it for tonight, and then like pick it up next time when we can play. I mean, that's up to you guys. This was just like an extra session, so. Yeah. If you guys yeah, are too I, I, tired to like push forward. Well, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not. I was too tired earlier. 
but I'm not. I I I'd rather not exclude somebody, because uh, like it's it's more of a, a social thing with everybody. So like Kathy not being here, I I'd rather have her participate, and like then rather go on without her. If the if we knew that she could coming back later for the night or something, then maybe I'd be more willing. But like who knows what's going on there? Maybe her power went out or something. Yeah, I mean, again, it's a one-shot, so it's important, but it also isn't, and it allows you guys to move forward, so it's whatever you guys find more amusing. You can either save the battle for next time if you find it interesting enough, or we can just finish this uh, session, and then we move on to your characters again. It's up to you. Yeah, she made that pee little thing. I, I figure we, uh, are we playing tomorrow? Is that the deal? Yeah. Yeah, if it, why, why not just uh, do it tomorrow? Yeah, I'd be down to yeah, save I'm, the I'm, fight. I'm okay with that too. Because it does feel kind of shitty like if we just press forward and she doesn't get to use her character in any way. Yeah. Okay. No oh. save and it's been fun playing as. It's been fun playing as our old characters. Yeah, was it gonna? Was the next encounter gonna be like the main encounter, or was it just gonna be like a couple of more things? It's and gonna then, be the like, main encounter. Yeah, if she gets here with like, I would say like in the next 30, 40 minutes, and we'll play it. But like. Because, like, I, I don't know about you guys, but my Wednesdays are, like, I don't know, do you, uh, JJ, how long are you going to be on? For what, tonight? Yeah. Uh, depends. <laughs> That's up to you. Yeah, it depends on, like, if we get You got to leave when you got to leave. You were saying something about your Wednesdays, what were you going to say? My Wednesdays are free. Because, oh, okay. like, my Thursdays are beautiful. Because I have nothing. But like, uh, yeah, if she comes back, just message me. Like, uh, what I'm gonna do is like look at at my cats. I was telling them that they got fleas somehow, and I'll just I'm I'm gonna room them while I have like some string line or something in the background. But like, if she comes back and everyone wants to do it tonight, I'll definitely come back on and do it. Okay. All right. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, because you don't want fleas to just keep breeding as a bitch to get rid of them after that, and they well, get into the carpet and stuff. Well, they're they're gonna well, they die. But, uh, right now, I got the flea collars, and I figure it would make their lives better not getting bit if I pull the fleas off and kill them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, get me if uh, things are popping. Yeah, I'll tell you. All right, later. See ya. I think on the the cameras there, guys. I don't think anything's gonna happen. Might be wrong. I'll, I'll bring the stream back up if so, but um. Yeah, yeah Kathy's in here probably just poop. Yeah. <coughs>